Hi everybody. Overlay templates is one of the industry's most simple yet powerful solutions deploying SD-WAN networks of all sizes. Included at no additional charge starting in Fortin Manager 7.2, the Overlay Orchestrator was designed for users of all technical backgrounds, making it simple and intuitive while utilizing Fortinet best practices for every deployment. In this video, we'll demonstrate how simple it is to deploy a large corporate SD-WAN network in just a few minutes. For our demo, we'll set up an SD-WAN overlay network across our corporate office and private workloads. Our remote branch offices will need to access resources in our data center, as well as communicate directly to each other on demand. Our hubs will be placed in two geo-redundant data center locations. For this region, Hub 1 will be our primary, while Hub 2 will be our secondary. All locations will have dual ISP links that will be utilized to create a full mesh overlay network for maximum resiliency and performance. Let's now jump into our demo and see how this all takes place. Let's log into our Fortin Manager. As mentioned previously, we're going to create an SD-WAN overlay with our two hubs and two branches. It's especially important that we have all of our branches in a region in the same device group, which in this case is named branches. These 40 gates will have the bare minimum configuration on the box, meaning IP addresses assigned to the interfaces. On the Fortin Manager side, we have created simple policies for both the hubs and branches, as well as a simple placeholder SD-WAN template not to be confused with the SD-WAN overlay template. Next, let's go to provisioning templates in Device Manager. From here, navigate to the SD-WAN overlay tab. Here we will use the simple four-step wizard to create our SD-WAN overlay for our North America region. To start, let's define our topology, which is dual hub primary and secondary, or active passive. We do want on-demand branch-to-branch tunnels for full mesh-like communications, so let's go to Advanced and enable Auto Discovery VPN. I want to point out that you can modify these other parameters according to your network requirements. Next, we will choose which FortiGate is our primary hub and which is our secondary hub with this simple drop-down menu. For branches, we need to choose the device group, so it is best that we have one already created for our branches. Simply select our branches device group from the menu. You can also enable automatic ID assignment to let the wizard assign branch IDs to our branch FortiGates. Now click Next. In this next step, we tell the wizard which of the ports on the hub FortiGates will be used as our WAN underlays. Here, we will enter in port 1 and port 2 for hub 1. Once that's done, we'll tell the wizard which port on hub 1 we'll advertise to the rest of the network, which in our example is port 3. Now, we'll do the same for our hub 2 and finally for our branches. After we're done, click Next. In step 4, we will have the option to speed up the overlay building process by associating this particular region with an existing SD-WAN template and hub and branch policies. After we're done, click Next to review our changes. Finally, click Finish. As you can see, the SD-WAN overlay wizard has automatically generated the necessary BGP and IPsec templates for our overlay and added them all into template groups. Template groups are an object that ties together multiple templates for easy installation. Now, all that's left to do is to install the template groups and policies into our FortiGates. In Forti Manager, as a general rule of thumb, whenever you create new interfaces, you should install the configuration for those interfaces before installing any policies that might reference them. Because the SD-WAN overlay wizard created new interfaces on our hubs, those need to be installed first. We will now install our device settings onto our hubs, and after we're done, we'll now push our hub policies to our FortiGates. And we'll speed up the video during the actual install. But as you can see, the time taken is displayed, and the entire install process is merely seconds. 
Next, we will install both our device settings as well as the policy package for our branch FortiGates. One thing to point out is that if you have any policy on a branch that's not used, you might get the following message. Click Install to begin. After we install our branch device settings and policy packages, we'll go back into Device Manager to see that the configuration and policies for the SD-WAN devices have been installed. Next, we will navigate to the Monitor section under Device Manager. And just like that, you can see that the SD-WAN overlay for our SD-WAN region is now up. From this view, you can click on any FortiGate and pull up key information such as the routing table. In a matter of minutes, we've successfully created an SD-WAN overlay. If you found today's video helpful, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.